In the meantime, we had another big matchup today with Oklahoma. All eyes were going to be on this game being moved to Oklahoma. They did some great things for Tulane in giving them the gate. Really good move there. But uh, we go into this game. Kennedy Brooks plows ahead for the one-yard touchdown. Puts the Sooners up 21-14. Later on, Spencer Rattler swings it to Mario Williams. Confuses his uh, defender. Gets over the pylon. Sooners up 37-14 at that point. At the half, they were up. This is 40-28. to Michael Pratt. Nice little pass there. Mm. Pratt had a heck of a game. Really gutty performance. You get this five-yard touchdown. Tulane only down 40 to 35. Pratt in trouble after an onside kick recovery. We'll get into that in a second. Looks like he has it, and man, comes up inches short. He needed 13 yards on that fourth down play. Only got 12 and three quarters. That's the difference in the game. The final score on this one, 40 to 35. To pay no attention to the man behind the curtain there. Final score on Oklahoma beats Tulane 40 to 35. Rattler with 304 yards passing, one touchdown, one passing touchdown, two interceptions. And Rattler spoke after the game. Before we get into everything, I want you to hear what the quarterback had to say after the game about this game and his performance. First off, shout out to Tulane, even for coming down here. You know, I appreciate those guys for coming down here and, and playing uh, us with everything going on where they're from. And that's a, that's a tough team. I mean, that was one of the hardest hitting teams, one of the most physical teams I've ever played. And, um, you know, they came out there and, and played great. Uh, they played better than us for sure. They wanted, they wanted to win more than us. You could just tell it. I mean, we were sitting on campus when I saw the onside kick get recovered, and I may or may not have said a word that's not appropriate for Mickey Mouse. Have you ever had been on a team that had an onside kick recovered? Of course, Fitz. Of really? course. And really? we had a great time. We had a great time going down and score. It's been times where my offensive team have been down um, in, I'll say, college and NFL games, but we found a way to come back. Shout out to Matt Ryan, Matty Ice, and Brian Braun when I had them at Louisville. But I want to give a shout out to Chip Long, my guy. Offensive coordinator for the Green Wave. Man, that performance, but I think I'm more so worried about Oklahoma's defense, the same defense that everybody has been talking about. It's going to be better this year. But in game one, we've seen the same song, same story that we've been seeing in the past with Oklahoma. Yeah, and Harry also, I mean, we were watching the games, and this is the way we prep this show, right? We try and watch everything together. And I thought it was interesting when you were uh, watching the game, just your reactions to Spencer Rattler, not just on the picks, but throughout. I mean, the decision-making has to be a question. Look, uh, there's no, ch no question that Oklahoma came out a little bit flat. I felt like they came out with without some killer instinct in this game. Looked like they expected a walkthrough, and they weren't really ready for it. But Spencer Rattler was a concern for you, Harry. Yeah, he's going to have to be better. You can't just loft balls up in the middle of the field and just pray that your guys uh, come down with it. It's not like you have receivers that are 6'5", 6'6", 6'7", that can go up and get these footballs because against great opponents, that's going to cost Spencer Rattler. That's what we've seen early on from him in last season. That's why he had his struggles. But going into game one, um, I think he's going to shake it off, and you learn from your mistakes. You get better from your mistakes because he is the leading candidate right now to win the Heisman Trophy, but he has to make better decisions on the football field. And this makes a couple of the prominent programs we've seen in Ohio State and Oklahoma that have come out and had their fair share of issues. We'll see how it normalizes. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.